everything I do is for the good of Perlin. For an insignificant person like you. Death is too kind a gift. I'm with Perlin. What's up, guys? So, I'm a bit late on this, I know. I don't follow Epic 7 too close anymore, but kind of want to check this out. Um, I did look at him a little bit. It's a pretty cool unit. Looks like he'd be fun to use. Looks like he's one of those fun to play units. Um, cleave unit, for sure. But, um, yeah. Yet again, it's another Mystic unit. So, of course, I'm going to plug Amazon Prime, or not Amazon Prime. Well, I'm going to plug Amazon Prime, too. That's actually a very useful thing to have. But, um, the Amazon App Store, guys. I hope you guys are playing E7 on that. I've, I've, I've said it in every video I've put out, right? So, you're, you're already doing it, right? You already know that you save up to 20% on purchases, right? You know units like this are expensive, right? You know it's got a PC port, right? Do I do, do I got to keep keep going on, right? Use the Amazon App Store, guys. Trust. Save yourself some money. Play it on PC. Avoid emulators. They're buggy. Some of them uh, put stuff on your PC that you don't want. So yeah, if you have Windows 11, just do yourself a favor and play with the Amazon App Store. So let's go ahead and talk about Commander Pavel here. Go look at these base stats. I will say this, his design is sick. I like the whole like uh, the commander esque look. So where are your base stats at, bud? His also his S three animation is actually really sick. And I apologize if you hear me sniffle a little bit. I got a cold. So really high base attack, which is really nice. Okay, speed. He's a ranger. They're notorious for having really bad defenses, right? Um, he's got crit concentration here. Um, I do think he would be a lot stronger if he had a speed imprint, but uh, I think I don't. I don't think Smilegate wants us to continue down the cleave route, right? Um, cleave is kind of cringe. I think he could kind of add this unit to the cringe ranks, but he seems like he would be fun to play with. So moving forward here, got his skill one. Uh, his uh, skill two is a passive. Start of the battle, he he gains he has fighting spirit, which is not very common for a ranger actually. After an out like after out yeah, sorry after an ally except for the caster makes a critical hit, he gains twenty fighting spirit. When fighting spirit is full, consumes all of it. To activate, be gone. This effect is not activated by a counter attack, a dual attack, or extra attack. So if you get an extra attack and it crits, it doesn't count as two crits. Um, if someone counters, that that doesn't count as a crit. If that was the case, he'd be kind of busted, right? Like he'd be insane. You could probably build him more as a bruiser if that was the case. Um, but it's not, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, Be Gone is just like his, his skill 2 animation. Um, gives him an attack buff, and then he does his AoE, and then he pushes himself up 50%. Which makes that his low speed not matter as much. But keep in mind, um, when you AoE, it doesn't activate like this four times. It's it's one crit. You just gotta crit one time. So like if like they show in the video here that Athletica uses her S2 and it crits multiple times but it only gives him 20 spirit. It doesn't give him 80 on four crits for example. Um, if that was the case he'd be busted. When I first read this that's how I thought it was until I saw it in use and I was like okay well that's that's not as bad right. So you do need two units to go before him and both of them need to crit for him to uh Activate his passive. Obstacle elimination. And when it to activate, be gone. This effect is not activated by counter attacks, dual attacks, or extra attacks. Be gone. Increases attack of the caster for two turns. And attacks all enemies by firing a gun. Before increasing combat readiness of the caster by 50%. But yeah. See how he just gained there? Skill. And then this animation is so sick, by the way. Um Die, you fly. Okay. Attacks the enemy with a pistol. When enemy's not a leader, boss monster, damage sharing effects are ignored. When the caster's attack is greater than target's attack, so it's no another another one of those wishy-washy things, you know, like how rang is like difference in HP, 
but like if the more attack you have on this unit the more he's gonna pin your armor so he's a uh, made to kill bulky units right he's he's essentially like a washer Shuri but an ML like a, a more more practical one right because ML Surrey doesn't boost himself up. Like you, he has to be built kind of fast. This guy doesn't have to be built as fast. He could build him with more damage. Now Watch Surrey just—he's he, basically a ML five version of Watch Surrey, to be honest. His skill three even has a reduced cooldown, like Watch Surrey does. Uh, he's just kind of like updated version, I guess. Um, up to a maximum of defense pin of seventy percent. Four turn cooldown if you soul burn. It's two. The penetration rate increasing proportional to the difference. Up to a maximum of seventy percent. When 10 soul is consumed, this skill's cooldown is reduced by two turns. Skill one. So yeah, as you saw there, showed him killing a Ravi. A Ravi usually has low attack, right? Because she's built with HP. Just another unit to deal with her. Um, sorry for the. Like I keep turning my mic off because my nose is bothering the shit out of me right now. Like I am literally running like a faucet. Like making this video right now is actually a struggle. And then we have a base, very basic S1. 65% chance to decrease attack. I don't think you're going to get much use out of his S1 at all. You might not even need to mull this thing. Um, it's really not going to do much for you. But, he's a pretty cool unit, I will say. I do like his S3. Oh my god. Let me freeze on cool frame. Okay, yeah. So. Honestly, guys, he really just seems like a cleave unit. I mean... Could you do some shenanigans with like guiding light and brun him in a standard more standard draft? I suppose. But like the second that guiding light doesn't proc, you're gonna die. Um you'd have to soul burn him on every turn to get a good value out of him. I just think he's a he's a fast paced unit. And I don't know if you're gonna use this unit over you know, like essentially like the the thing that I can compare this guy to the most is like C Dom, right? See Dom boost herself up with crits. Um, essentially deletes a unit, but she brings her own book. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, he essentially does the same thing. But he doesn't get the CR unless two people go. With Sea Dom, only one person has to go and crit a lot for you to gain a lot of CR, so. Isn't he just like a worse Sea Dom? Like, uh, he, he'll probably hit harder with his S3. But. Essentially, he does the same thing she does in that role, right? So now you gotta ask yourself, is this unit worth $500 to do what the CDOM can do? Essentially, they do the same thing. He ignores damage sharing effects, so it might be easier to kill a tank with him. I'm sure. Um, as for artifacts on him, like he, he doesn't bring a book like CDOM does. But I guess... He's a... Not... Like, Belion is an issue for book users in the first place. So, I don't know. I will say he looks fun to use. Throw him in there with like ML Charles and stuff like that. Seems like it'd be really fun. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.